Hi friends, Namaste. We are reaching the fag end of the journey. Now one more episode only. Now this we are giving you the room sightseeing. That is the Papal audience in the morning and in the evening the Vatican Museum. I have explained everything during the Papal audience. For your information, please watch and enjoy. Now this is part 12 of the Europe and UK tour. We are going to the St. Peter's Square uh, for the next day we will be having a papal audience. Now this is getting into evening time. Here the nearby places in the St. Peter's Square is almost all of them are called by some or the other way by Michelangelo. In Italy, particularly for this portion, the guide as well as others, after the Jesus, name of Jesus, Mother Mary, St. Peter. After that, the name is Michelangelo. Anything you say, Michelangelo Tunnel, Michelangelo Road, Ginicola Michelangelo, it goes like that. So this is also this tunnel, this area is called Michelangelo Tunnel Road. Now here you can buy all the little, little things like, you know, Konda, Japmala and all those stuff you can buy from here too. Uh, you get for one euro, uh, one uh, Japmala uh, case. Now this is St. Peter's Square uh, where uh, we have the papal audience today. You can see the St. Peter's Square monument pillar and here thousands, not thousands, almost lakhs of people are now uh, surrounded, gathered to witness the papal audience where the Pope comes to the people to bless. This happens uh, on Wednesdays, but not all the Wednesdays. When uh, there is no special appearance or special occasion of the Pope to elsewhere or when he doesn't travel outside or when he is absolutely fine, those days. But they say Wednesday, but even that particular day also they can cancel it. And you can see here the Swiss soldiers are the one who is, uh, you know, uh, taking care of the, uh, the situation not the uh, general uh, Italian police. Now the Pope has uh, almost about uh, 400 of uh, Swiss uh, soldiers and they trust the Swiss soldiers. As I told you, I showed you on the Lion Monument how uh, critical the, uh, the Switzerland boys, citizens role in the war in uh, Europe. Here you can see thousands of uh, lags strong uh, waiting uh, for the glimpse of the Pope. Uh, Pope comes in a small little uh, cart and uh, he blesses. So when people carry this uh, konda, the japmalas, they show and he blesses and then they bring it to the house here. This is the path when the, where the, the Pope comes. People come about uh, from 7 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning onwards people come and by 8 o'clock all the soldiers and the po uh, local police officials um, occupy the uh, place and do not allow anyone to cross it. You can see the Pope coming. It's very difficult for me to uh, take the uh, full picture because, um, see papal audience, because people come in front of my uh, camera not only that um, i also have to see my people are there uh, coming to see it many people look somewhere else so i make sure everybody uh, watches it and they are able to see it because the very purpose of coming for this paparodians early morning is this we get up at five o'clock in the morning we have a quick breakfast at six o'clock and uh, by six thirty six forty five with all the luggage we are out and uh, then uh, we reach over here by 7.30, uh, otherwise we are not allowed. And we also have to have a, uh, an invitation which we have to collect about at least about uh, two weeks uh, prior to arrival. Mm, this we get it through our agents. It is free, entry is free, but to get this invitation we have to pay to our agents abroad because they have to get this invitation done after scrutinizing our list and the passport numbers by the Vatican uh, authorities. Only then we get this. So this is the, uh, after the papal audience, we are now going to see the Vatican Museum. You see the Vatican Gate, this is inside the Vatican. You can see the, the, the place, this is the Vatican Wall, Wall of Vatican. It's about in 44 hectares of land, uh, what they have in total. And about maybe about some few thousands are living inside. 
that's all this is inside the vatican museum we have to be in line sometimes the line for the ordinary people without ticket without appointed time goes for about the morning you come and you get the entry only in the afternoon here because we have assigned we have um, taken the tickets uh, minimum one month before or one or two months before the arrival of the group and uh, so the tickets are cut and kept and if you don't come at the particular time uh, you are out so we have in this vatican museum uh, this is the way we go uh, there is an entry we have to put the ticket into the machine then this is inside the guides roll over they they give explanation of and the miniature of the vatican museum and we go on with the rest of the matters there are several things to see but uh, we get maximum 3 hours in the vatican museum inside actually this has to be seen by a whole day and some time there will be no space even to stand that much crowd it will be see you can see our uh, gns flag is uh, on top and the people are uh, watching and this is you can see st peter's um, uh, tomb out on top this is this vatican museum um, tour finishes at the st peter's basilica basilica's crown top that you can see from here it's a beautiful uh, uh, place these are the museum collection at the st peter's uh, uh, vatican museum these are all very many old some of them are uh, ruined by war and fire as you see uh, rome was the most important uh, it was not a city in the beginning it was uh, a country as it it was not known as italy it was but roma uh, uh, empire Uh, it is not known as it, it's the the, the michelangelo's uh, uh, paintings which they have uh, taken the photograph and uh, explaining because inside the vatican museum the guides are not allowed to speak loudly they, although they have uh, this um, uh, hearing uh, uh, machines which they give it to us and uh, you know the whispers so we hear from there it's almost about um, 100 meter uh, wide uh, range radius we can hear that but still sometimes uh, what she speaks in the language our people miss because there are many guides speak so it always you know overlap over here so this is it you can see very many political leaders particularly from the greek a uh, greek empire you can see a lot of uh, kings and queens um, uh, sculptures uh, which uh, during th th those days uh, the ancient uh, uh, sculptures uh, architects and uh, a paint uh, uh, artist had uh, beautifully done it excellent work all over uh, italy you can see it mainly in florence rome you can see very much so it is also very difficult at that time uh, to be in uh, uh, touch with the guide as well as with the uh, passengers and also to use the handicap and uh, you have to keep the uh, pace also it's it is very difficult because holding the handicap with other papers in hand and in times like tickets and then uh, the roaming list and so many other things you know and keeping the pace was very difficult and also sometimes people ask me some questions which i have to ask the guide get the answers and give it back to the customers so all put together it was quite <laughs> thickly very busy not even one minute you get uh, free although when i'm uh, shooting uh, so many things i do in between you don't get the right uh, place right thing right and so you can see all uh, you know broken damaged pieces put together you can see over here um, uh, uh, caesar caesar uh, as well as you can see um, uh, venus uh, mercury jupiter and also the uh, the beginning of uh, christianity is uh, well uh, painted on the roof of the vatican museum and on the sides you can later on see the so this venus uh, you can see on the sides the uh, those days roman uh, empire it's on the uh, wall uh, uh, wall piece curtains so however they have uh, restored it and they have maintained it 
it that itself is great today vatican museum is one of the most uh, uh, visited places and uh, the vatican makes a lot of money on it now vatican is a separate uh, a country by itself they have their own passport they have their own stamp they have their own police force uh, they have everything Mm. it is formed uh, much lately uh, to why pop uh, and vatican was formed because those days there was a, a great uh, uh, fight between the the those days roman kings as well as the uh, heads of the christianity the catholics so to end this this vatican uh, city itself was uh, built it is within the uh, city of rome not outside the city of rome the so the country vatican is the tiniest the smallest um, uh, country in the world that is built within rome city rome city you know is within italy so italy is the country in that the rome city and within the rome city is the uh, vatican um, city and that vatican city is a separate country as it is and uh, mainly the swiss soldiers are manning the uh, whole uh, of uh, vatican the uh, pope is the uh, head of the um, uh, catholic society in uh, the world and which is the largest one in the world and the in the christianity uh, they believe pope as god also he is revered uh, very much than any of the other uh, religious heads and uh, he is the head and you know how the pope has been elected he is elected from the uh, place called the sistine chapel which is uh, inside the vatican museum uh, you would see, we are not allowed to show the uh, uh, take the pictures of sistine chapel inside the sistine chapel you have the most famous paintings done by michelangelo uh, and uh, also bernini but the last supper made by michelangelo as well as the others it's really something which is great and gorgeous you feel like uh, watching it for us but you are not allowed to stay there more than 5 minutes so within 5 minutes uh, in the sistine chapel here you can see within 5 minutes uh, we are literally <laughs> pushed outside and you cannot speak except breathing no other uh, voice to be heard over there you can see the paintings this is are all done by the although they say it is by michelangelo and bernini but not i understand that this are done by most of the 80 over disciples which michelangelo had they have done this beautiful job and these are all the paintings it's all the curtains done the you know it's are uh, beautifully done uh, on the carpets which are the on the hanging wall hangings Uh, this has the uh, the beginning of the uh, christianity from moses time uh, uh, the red sea division and all those which uh, the, the ten commandments all those which uh, had uh, in the the bible the earlier bible it's all there and also here in this passage you can see on the rooftop see this is the roma samrajyam empire empire i told that uh, the, the those days uh, uh, rome that is uh, up to germany and the side up to paris and last including greek that was all part of uh, uh, roman empire these are all put in both sides of the wall they have this wall hanging it's a curtain it's actually very thick uh, material curtain in which they have this uh, beautiful uh, uh, maps uh, you know um, uh, inscribed beautiful to see it uh, from the close by and many times it goes for renovation every year so every year for certain time it's uh, closed and on top of on the sea on the rooftop you can see she explains that uh, roma samrajyam for yeah, this is the rooftop where you see the paintings of uh, the disciples again they say it is done by um, completely by uh, michelangelo uh, you must be knowing the michelangelo in his last days he lived till 84 years or something the last days about 4 years or something he was blind because you know on the scaffoldings you have to lay down to paint on the roof 
So when you do such work, the paints, not like these days, you don't have the spraying machines and all. Those days they were literally doing manually. It takes years, not in one day, because such paintings. So when you do that, the paints were spilled uh, in the ice or the person painting and naturally over the uh, period, you become blind. So he has become blind thus. But he was a very imaginary person, even though when he was blind, still he was painting it seems and his disciples were helping him and many of them he was explaining them how to do and they had completed it. Particularly in the Sistine Chapel, some of them which uh, is done by him is very famous. You can see the uh, many uh, paintings and drawings by the sculptures and many architectural work by the architects of those days. It's beautifully set up. You can also see lots of the Greek uh, stories over here, the, the Greek mythology, the Greek goddess and god, the many, uh, because it is after the uh, Greek uh, uh, era, the Christian era has started and uh, Rome is the most important uh, witness of all. And it says so, the St. Peter's Basilica and the surrounding place was, it seems, once uh, under Greek. See, we, we, we have different stories given by different guides, so we do not know how far everything is true. Now, this is inside the, uh, after the sustained chapel, we are not allowed to speak or take photographs in the sustained chapel. Uh, sustained chapel is really good. You can kneel down and pray. You can see the original uh, kind of the, uh, you know, sculpture of uh, the idol of uh, Jesus and the cross. And now in the, inside the St. Peter's Basilica, we have a lot of things to see. There are about four or five uh, Pope's uh, uh, mortal remains. It's uh, kept uh, waxed inside. And also it has many paintings again. Uh, it has the St. Peter's uh, uh, sculpture as it is, handing over the key kind of thing. And uh, it also has um, a, a door which is open only once in 25 years and uh, so many of them which uh, which really uh, gives us the, the the view of what had happened in the history and it is also for the future uh, generation to understand and to visualize so that good work can will, will always get rewarded always be remembered. Now we are inside the St. Peter's Basilica. We are not here supposed to remain for more time. We can't talk. We cannot communicate. No noise. I used to get many times warning by the, uh, the Reverend Father. So this is one of the Pope's uh, mortal remains in the wax. Not in the wax. The actual thing inside and wax given outside. The coverage given outside. Thus there are about four of them including the Pope uh, John uh, II also, which is revered very much these days. I think this is in front of the Pope John's uh, mortal remains. Also, it has the altar. So you can see the part of the altar, which always shines throughout. And it has the, directly the sun uh, hits the altar. The, uh, the architect is done in such a way that the sun faces the altar. I mean, the, the altar faces the sun. And it is, see, you can see that the main place and here you are not allowed to enter except the uh, very few people go over there for uh, masses and things like so you can see the GNS flag also moves happy to note that it's a beautiful experience one will have when you visit these places particularly when you are going with the group because you have uh, 40 others also enjoying with you. You know, whenever we are in uh, happy mood, we need to have people around you. Same way when you are in the, uh, you know, grieving mood, at that time also you need to have the people around you. This is altar as I was explaining you. I could finally uh, take the, fo the photo properly. This is a symbol of the Catholic... Uh, 
you can also climb to the top of the the top from the the crown but uh, you need a full day for that now we finish that and we are back to the sightseeing of room we can see colosseum in a very close uh, proximity so after the vatican museum after the papalodians we are back to the city of rome again we are into colosseum once again we can see the colosseum very close by is also a point uh, to be noted even the guide cannot take us to certain places by bus we have to go by walk only here the colosseum comes very close to you can see the structures of the colosseum it's ruined and also you can see the royal imperial forum next to it which is also you saw the papalodians which is a remarkable one people always ask me uh, uh, before the tour Uh, even during the tour ma'am can we uh, see a pope at a very close uh, proximity yes just 1 meter like difference you can see the pope i could not take that close the video because there were people coming in between because uh, people uh, move for uh, health sculpture uh, during the papal audience very difficult to concentrate on the video that's it to me this not me and what it also has my customers and my other things and also the telephone coming because i'm on a tour from restaurants and guides etc so sometimes it becomes very difficult but somehow i've done my best to take what is possible to show you but you can definitely see the pope at the very closest of the uh, site just so you know the the length of the uh, hand to that extent and he when he comes uh, particularly the uh, uh, the present pope when he comes he often uh, you know see the children and he blessed them he comes forward and he blessed them and something a remarkable feeling which we have at that particular time so also you have seen the vatican museum which is also the most famous thing in the world and uh, now and tomorrow we are going to have the last video and please don't forget to press the bell button and uh, subscribe for the future videos and put your valuable comments and share please don't forget to share there are many people who would love to see all these things